In a world where there is often immense pressure to find a partner and settle down, the prospect of being single can seem daunting to many. However, being single can also offer a unique freedom and joy that is less frequently discussed. In this video, we'll be delving into the fascinating world of Diogenes the Cynic, an ancient philosopher who not only embraced being single, but celebrated it. Diogenes, with his distinctive lifestyle and radical ideas, turned the norms of his time on their head. Unburdened by the societal expectations of marriage and companionship, he lived his life in a way that was quite contrary to what most people today would consider normal. So, whether you're single, in a relationship, or somewhere in between, join us as we explore Diogenes' philosophy. It just might change the way you view singlehood and help you discover or rediscover the art of being single in today's world. Who was Diogenes the Cynic? Diogenes of Sinope, known as Diogenes the Cynic, was a Greek philosopher and one of the most famous figures of the philosophical school of cynicism. Born in the city of Sinope, he later moved to Athens, where he became a larger-than-life character, living in a barrel or a large ceramic jar, challenging societal norms, and preaching his philosophy of cynicism to anyone who would listen. Diogenes believed in rejecting conventional desires for wealth, power, health, or fame, and instead advocated for living a simple life in close accordance with nature. He practiced what he preached, living in poverty by choice. Perhaps most interestingly for our exploration, Diogenes also rejected the societal expectations of relationships and family life. He was single and didn't seek romantic relationships, considering them distractions from his philosophical pursuits. He argued that the social institutions of marriage and family were more chains than freedoms, and he decided to remain unattached and unfettered. In one famous anecdote, Diogenes was spotted by Alexander the Great while sunbathing. When asked by the powerful ruler if there was any favor he might do for him, Diogenes simply replied, Yes, stand out of my sunlight. This story beautifully illustrates Diogenes' total contentment in his own company and his disinterest in societal status or approval. He was single by choice, and he embraced the freedom it offered him. Diogenes was a strong advocate for self-sufficiency and independence, qualities he felt were diluted or lost in romantic partnerships. He lived his life in stark contrast to societal norms and expectations, valuing simplicity and freedom above all else. To Diogenes, singleness was not a status to be feared or pitied, but rather a path that offered liberation from societal constraints and the space for self-discovery and personal growth. He was famous for his assertion that we have complicated every simple gift of the gods. This could be applied to his view on relationships as well. While the desire for companionship is human and natural, Diogenes might argue that we've complicated it with our ideas of romantic love, marriage, and family. In one of his anecdotes, Diogenes saw a child drinking from his hands and realized he could discard his only possession, his bowl, thus embracing an even simpler lifestyle. This analogy can be extended to his perspective on relationships. Just as the child needed no bowl to drink, one does not need a romantic partner to experience love, joy, and fulfillment. Another notable story tells of Diogenes searching with a lantern in broad daylight. When asked what he was doing, he replied, I am just looking for an honest man. This story can be interpreted in many ways, but in the context of our discussion, it may suggest Diogenes' disillusionment with societal norms, including the institution of marriage and his quest for truth and authenticity in human relations. In all these tales, we see a man who cherished his independence and found joy in his own company. His contentment with being alone was not due to misanthropy, but an understanding that happiness comes from within and that reliance on others for our contentment can lead to a cycle of expectation and disappointment. For Diogenes, being single wasn't a lack. It was an opportunity to live life on his own terms. The Cynic Approach to Life The Cynic philosophy, to which Diogenes was a pivotal contributor, was one of living in accordance with nature and rejecting societal norms and materialism. These principles played a crucial role in shaping Diogenes' attitude towards singleness and can offer valuable insights for those exploring the joy of being single. Living in accordance with nature for cynics meant living simply and authentically. They believed in stripping away artifice and unnecessary desires to lead a life that was true to one's nature. This approach aligns well with the single life, 
which provides an opportunity to focus on oneself, discover individual preferences, and live authentically without needing to compromise or conform to a partner's expectations or societal norms. Moreover, the cynic's rejection of materialism wasn't just about physical possessions. It extended to all desires and attachments that they believed weighed down the human spirit. This included romantic relationships. From a cynic perspective, romantic relationships often involve attachment, dependence, and the potential for emotional turmoil, all of which can distract from personal growth and inner peace. For a cynic like Diogenes, being single meant liberation from these entanglements. It allowed him the freedom to live simply, to devote his time to philosophical inquiry, and to maintain his inner tranquility. To adopt a cynic approach to life doesn't necessarily mean rejecting relationships entirely. Instead, it encourages fostering a sense of completeness within oneself. It's about understanding that while companionship can be a wonderful part of life, it's not a prerequisite for happiness or fulfillment. By understanding and implementing these principles, one can lead a joyful single life rooted in self-sufficiency, authenticity, and inner peace. Practical Insights for Embracing Singleness Drawing from Diogenes' life and philosophy, there are several practical strategies one can use to embrace and enjoy being single. These insights are rooted in self-discovery, independence, self-reliance, and finding fulfillment outside of relationships. Self-discovery Being single gives you the opportunity to explore your interests, desires, and aspirations uninhibited by the needs or expectations of a partner. Spend this time getting to know yourself better, read widely, try new activities, pursue your passions, and explore different facets of your personality. Foster Independence One of the valuable aspects of being single is the opportunity it provides to develop independence, emulate Diogenes, and cultivate self-reliance in all areas of life. This might include becoming more confident in decision-making, managing your finances, and learning new skills. Diogenes found happiness within himself rather than in external factors. Spend time developing mindfulness and emotional resilience. This might involve meditation, journaling, or other forms of introspection. Value Simplicity In the spirit of cynic philosophy, try to cultivate an appreciation for simplicity. Find joy in the simple things in life, like a quiet morning, a good book, or a walk in the park. Cultivate non-attachment. Following Diogenes' example, Try to cultivate non-attachment not just in your relationships, but in all aspects of life. This can help you maintain emotional balance and avoid being swayed by external circumstances. Invest in yourself. Being single is an opportunity to invest in yourself. This could involve advancing your education, improving your health and well-being, or fostering personal growth and self-improvement. By implementing these strategies, one can embrace singleness and live a joyful, fulfilling life in line with Diogenes' philosophy. Remember, being single isn't about being alone. It's about being complete in oneself. Challenging Social Norms Diogenes' philosophy on singleness offers a radical departure from common societal perceptions of relationships and solitude. In a world where one's relationship status often dictates their perceived success or happiness, the ancient cynic's views are a breath of fresh air. Diogenes didn't just live outside the norm, he challenged the norm. He upended societal expectations, choosing a life of independence and simplicity over material wealth and social status. His approach to singleness was no exception. Instead of viewing it as a state to be fixed, Diogenes celebrated being single as an opportunity for personal growth, self-discovery, and freedom. In this light, being single is not a deficit, but a path to enlightenment. It allows for profound self-knowledge and independence, as well as the freedom to live according to one's principles. The Impact of Embracing Singleness Embracing the art of being single, as inspired by Diogenes, can lead to a myriad of benefits. For one, it offers a sense of empowerment. By choosing to live for oneself, one gains control over their own life and happiness. There's no need to rely on a partner for fulfillment or validation. Instead, you find that within yourself. Furthermore, understanding and embracing singleness can lead to a happier, more authentic life. Without the pressure to conform to societal expectations, one can explore their own desires, values, and passions. This freedom can lead to personal growth and a deeper understanding of oneself. In essence, 
The art of being single is about embracing autonomy, celebrating individuality, and leading a life true to oneself. It's about finding happiness within and realizing that we are whole, just as we are. Diogenes embraced singleness not as a circumstance, but as an art, a path towards self-discovery, independence, and freedom from societal constraints. His teachings invite us to question our own beliefs about singleness. Are we viewing it through a lens of lack or one of potential growth? Are we seeking fulfillment and validation from others? Or are we finding it within ourselves? Diogenes shows us that the art of being single is not about living a life devoid of love, but rather one that is rich with self-love, self-acceptance, and the freedom to live authentically. So let's take inspiration from this ancient philosopher who dared to defy societal norms. Embrace the art of being single. Find joy in your own company. Live freely, authentically, and wholeheartedly, just as Diogenes did. For in this, you might just discover the greatest freedom and fulfillment of all.